Escape Game, Fort Boreard. When I picked this up to play, I assumed it was some sort of escape room with a gimmick where you need to do mini games to escape instead of puzzles. It's sort of like that Netflix show, The Floor is Lava. Imagine my surprise when I found out this was based on a French TV show, which apparently has been on the air for decades. And this is actually the 14th video game they made from this concept. I thought this setup was a bit weird. They have us go to an island fort in order to play these games. You would think the games would be based around the history of the facility, but no, it has dinosaurs washing clothes, or having us do punching exercises that you might see in a boxing game. The tone for this thing was all over the place. And that was one of its biggest faults. Even though the storyline in place has one theme, it won't stay within those borders. It makes everything feel disjointed. They do make you feel like you're actually playing a game show. You go from place to place within the fort to do these challenges. Sometimes the challenge is if you fail, you're going to have to go to jail and you'll lose one of your four teammates. If you find all the keys, clues, and solve the riddle, you can take the treasure as your own. The controls in the minigames were both simplistic and overly complicated, depending on the game that you were playing. Most of the time, though, they were easy to figure out. One or two buttons and moving the way it shows on the screen. However, there were times where you had to drive a car or, or just move one leg at a time. These were always the worst. The leg one, when you're on a cliff and they need you to move one leg with a different analog stick for each one. It was just nuts. They could have had the same challenge just using one analog stick. The car one was even more egregious. They have you drive a car to get some water and then you have to turn around and shoot the water into a funnel. The controls in this were really stiff. And if that wasn't hard enough, for some reason they said, what if we threw a lion in there as well? This is the only game that they did this and it made no sense. Why'd you add a dangerous animal to this man? No other game had this much danger in it. Why this boring driving game? The mini games were pretty dull. I could see these types of games being used in a TV show as it would have been crazy enough for viewers to enjoy, but challenging enough to make it exciting. Most of the time, while these games could be based on reality, there was one that broke the laws of gravity. They catapult you into the air, and you stay there for about a minute going through rings. Not really falling, just hovering, sort of. Then you splash into the water, somehow not dying. I'm sure this game must exist in some way in the French TV show, but it's probably more like you grab something from the air as you're launched into the water. Now, if you do solve the riddle, which consisted of a multiple choice question, you'll be able to grab coins from the cage and bring it back to a pot. You do this until time runs out. Now you might be saying, what can I do with all this treasure that I have now earned? The answer is nothing. It's just for show and it's totally pointless. I thought maybe you could buy new avatars or clothes, maybe even buy new mini games to play. However, I never saw anything you could do with it. I didn't even see a record of a high score. There's also a party game, which is just a board where you roll dice and you play the same games, only more randomized. It was just as dull, but it did move faster than the regular game. They have spiders that show up on the dice occasionally. I think you have to roll higher than the number of spiders in order to move forward, but it was really never clear. The whole board gimmick was kind of pointless. It didn't enhance the gameplay. It just made it less streamlined and more based on luck, but it did make things move faster. I'll give it that. You still need to find the keys and then you're going to need to move on to the treasure room. Which, once again, when you win all that money, you can't do anything with it as far as I could see. Escape Game for Boreard might be a fun TV show, but it's a boring video game. It really didn't have to be. Drop the repetitive running to the games cutscenes, make the minigames more in line with the world, and please let us have something to spend our coins on. That would have made things way better. The party game felt like an afterthought. Like someone saw Mario Party and said, yeah, let's just make that, but change up the dice occasionally. However, I would say if you had to make a choice which game mode to do, I would say play it in the party game mode, as it was quicker and had less cutscenes. I do think you should skip this game. There's just so many other good minigame collections on the Switch. Go vacation for one. I know I've been beating that drum for quite a while. The mini games on here were unremarkable at best. So unless you're a fan of the TV series, I really don't see any reason to pick this up.